some crazy topics today, but we have a uh, not so crazy chef. It is mm -hmm. Thursday. That means Chef Bob here at Sour from Farm Fresh is with us today. He's in the kitchen and he's whipping out some steaks. What are you making for us today, Bob? Well, we're going to do some ribeye steaks. Mm -hmm. And uh, thanks for the uh, confidence that I'm not crazy. You're but, not crazy. Uh, okay. We're going to do we're going to do some ribeye steaks. These wild harvest uh, ribeyes that nice. are available in the stores, all you know, antibiotic free. No growth hormones, all that good stuff. Perfect. But they, they're good, good for you. But we're going to finish that off. We're going to do a pan seared uh, steak. We're we'll going to finish it off with a mushroom sauce, kind of a creamy balsamic mushroom sauce. But we're also going to pair it up with how about some parsnips? How about, how about some, some parsnips? mashed parsnips with pesto and nice. a little flavors on there? And then we're going to do some uh, sauteed greens. Whenever Bob comes, we are all in for a big treat. We're going to have a party today, and you want to stick around because whatever he cooks is amazing. You want to take notes too and try this at home. We'll get cooking in just a moment. Parsnips and pesto, that'll be a first for me. All right, time now for our Hampton Road Show Pet Pals of the Week. We have two. It's a pair of pet pals with us today. This is Sammy and Max. They're both about 10 year old beagle mixes from the Norfolk Animal Care Center. They were surrendered when their owner couldn't care for them anymore, and they've been together their whole lives. They're both gentle and sweet and just like to relax with their people. Sammy and Max are part of the Golden Paws Senior Adoption Program, offering discounts and incentives for adopting a senior pet. And if you're a senior citizen looking to adopt a pet, the entire adoption fee is waived. If you'd like to make Sammy and Max a part of your family, get in touch with the folks at the Norfolk Animal Care Center at 441-5505 or visit norfolk.gov slash NACC. Don't go away. We're just getting started on the Hampton Roads show this Thursday morning. We'll check out the K-Club amenity program at Kilmarlick Golf Club on the Outer Banks a little later. But first, our organizing whiz, Amy Volk. She's here with some great strategies for digital decluttering. And let's get today's pop quiz trivia. You ready? Put those thinking caps on. Today's winner will receive a four pack of tickets for the Gala of Royal Horses coming this Sunday to the Ted Constant Center, a $360 value. Here's your question inspired by National Basketball Day. What team has won the most NBA championships? Is it the Chicago Bulls, Boston Celtics, or LA Lakers? If you know the answer, log on to thehamptonroadshow.com and click on the Pop Quiz Trivia box on our homepage to enter. Yes, paper clutter. I have a basket over there. They gave me a basket after to all put all your junk in. They put the basket to put my scripts in. Does it help?
The Hamden Road Show is trying to help you organize your life, and we all know how quickly that neat stack of mail, coupons, and papers can quickly get out of hand or just grow higher. It can even happen to your email inbox. And so we've got Amy Volk here to help get all that clutter under control. She's our organizing expert. Great yeah. to have you. And Thank so we're you. working on the papers and the digital organizing today. Yeah, you know, in spite of this digital world, we still deal with a lot of paper. Yes. And people don't know what to mm -hmm. do with it. And so I have four solutions. Uh, I visited this topic a few years ago, and it's changed so much in just right. a couple of years. So I'm going to show you four solutions that I think anyone can can use for a home or a business or a small business, maybe uh, anywhere. Even you guys can use it here at the station. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start with a company called Paper Tiger, and we'll show you that here in a second on on the screen. And this company, what it does is it takes stacks of paper and you scan it in to your computer. So let me get this right. You you give them your stacks of paper and they'll scan it in. Yeah. Well, you're going to do it in your office. So let's pretend this was all of your files. What and if you can see on. What we have here on the screen is what their interface sort of looks like online, and you go and you do tutorials. You take all of your paper files mm -hmm. and you index them. And so it, you have to go online and read a little bit about it. But what it does, if you think of Google, Google indexes it so that it makes everything searchable. You can, you know, if you're looking for car title, you could look car title or Toyota, and the, it would pull up the document. Okay. It takes all of these paper files. You still have the paper files, but you can search. You don't have to go organize to these piece. as much. It's all organized online, so okay. I love that solution. Oh. My all-time favorite solution is uh, the Neat Company. They make three three products really. This is the Neat Receipt Scanner. This is mm. great for anyone. It's portable. It has a USB plug. You can take three things: receipts, documents like stacks of paper like this, and business cards. Mm -hmm. It automatically recognizes what it is. Okay. So if I put a business card in here, it recognizes that, it scans it, it populates it online. There, it's a, a software online. So organize it for you there as well. It automatically populates it, and then you can throw the paper away. Which recycle. is the best part. Yes, recycle, of course. <laughs> uh, it's the best part. That's the neat receipt scanner. They have a more robust desktop where you can do batch oh, wow. scanning. Wow. But then their new product is the Connect. It's a it's another device. It's cloud-based. You don't even need a computer. It's all you scan all your stuff and it's stored online. You just trust that it's going to be there when in you need the cloud, it. In the cloud, right? In the cloud. But it is awesome because it eliminates all of the actual paper. Okay, so, so the those neat are company. two quick ways two. to to do stuff. Now we can't. Uh, not mention Google, right? Okay, so right. Google, Google Drive. A lot of people are confused about what Google Drive is. Mm -hmm. It's their new product, but all things being Google, it's online. It lives in the cloud, and you, you can, can share really easily. It's so great because it, you can take all of this paper, you scan it in with a desktop scanner, mm -hmm. and it lives in Google Drive. And the thing it does is that you can then make Google Documents. You can share it. You can collaborate uh, real time with mm -hmm. people. And let's say you have a desktop or a, a laptop, and mm -hmm. you're working on it. You just save your document to Google Drive, and then when It'll later be there, on, no matter where you, you want to pick it up, access it anywhere. Mm -hmm. And you can see, like, this is my Google Drive here, and I can share any of these documents. And what's great is later on, I can just be at a desktop and print them off. I don't. Yeah, actually and you can do search it too. Searchable, super nice, easy. Nice. Okay, and finally, what do we have? Okay, Doc Safe. Doc Safe. We have a. a up here on the screen, DocSafe is like a virtual safe deposit box. So I'm, mm -hmm. I'm really big into people making safety deposit boxes or uh, emergency plans. And this is what this does. This is great for military families. It does estate planning, financial information. It stores all of those important documents safely online. Mm -hmm. So if anything would happen to a family member, you're not trying to search through files. Right. And you can have it all in one place. That's great yeah. because you know we've got paper clutter, we've got digital clutter. Right. Amy's helping you organize both of them. Get in touch with Amy and organize your life. Find her online, amyvolk.com, and send her an email, amy at amyvolk.com. She'd be happy to help you and we'll also link you at our website, thehamptonroadshow.com. Thanks for being here, Amy. Thank you. We're back now in the kitchen with Chef Bob here at Sour from Farm Fresh. He's making ribeye steaks with cream mushroom balsamic reduction and parsnip. Which is a, kind of like a great like potato substitute, substitute, right? It is. It's a little healthier. We're going to make a little healthier uh, version of uh -huh. mashed potatoes. Nice. I like and that. We're okay. And we're going to start mm -hmm. with the meat. What I like when Bob comes in, he always puts me to work, and I like doing that. But before mm -hmm. we get started, let's talk about the beef you brought in. You brought mm -hmm. in some of the wild harvest, which is really a great uh, yeah. selection and idea there at Farm yeah, Fresh. It, it is. It's a, it's a great new selection of, our, of new proteins. It's our brand. Um, it's all antibiotic free. It's, it's uh, no growth hormones. It's right. all basically free range. Um, animals kind of humanely taken care of, grown um, until we slaughter them. I'm sorry, and it's <laughs> great. It's great for people yeah. with a healthy and active lifestyle too. It is. It really um, fits they, in well. 
they come in all pre-portioned for you. You can and and you know really, I've said it before. I've used it on a number of segments before, and it. It cooks up great, eats great, and it's good for you. That's right. It's uh, offered in turkey, beef, chicken, and tur uh, and pork. pork. Yep. Absolutely. All of all, all the four meats. Uh -huh. Okay, so here okay. it is, the ribeye. Yep. What are we going to do with it? We're going to season it up first with a little bit of our Farm Fresh uh, grill seasoning. So you're just going to rub it? Yep, just rub that down. Okay. Give it a little seasoning. We're just going to get those started here. Okay, I got this pan going here. Get it on both sides if you can. Okay. Yeah, it's falling apart a little bit on you. came apart on me. That's all right. Yeah, it's all going to come together. Okay. It's all going to yeah. come together nice. All right, so we got one yeah, done. Got one done. In the pan it goes. Yeah. So we're going to do two of them. We're going to do two now? Yeah, do two okay. now. There you go. Get that good seasoned up. Gotcha. Yeah, that's good. And we'll flip it over. Yep. Good Here looking. Goes, uh, Cut of beef right here. We're just going to do two because the size of the pan, can, that's enough for us to get it going. Okay. There we go. We're going to go ahead and get get this going on a hot pan, okay. a little bit of canola oil. I use canola versus olive oil because olive oil can also burn a little bit and give a little bitterness. Right. So that's why I'm doing the canola. We're going to get that going. We're going to move that over to another another um, burner here real quickly. And we're going to pull this one over here. This is parsnips. Parsnips look like white carrots. Wow. But they, they have a flavor of almost like a peppery potato. Nice. And what I did here was just basically took this here and cut them in, peeled it, cut them down in little pieces. Boil in water until it got. So it's real simple. We're gonna we're gonna kind of flavor it up. Want to add a little pesto to that? Yeah, okay. the pesto. Okay. All right. Yeah. So add a little pesto. Add a little pesto for flavor. Okay. You can add some salt and pepper. Or you can add some butter. But we're trying to keep this kind of healthy for you today. Okay. Okay. I mashed those those parsnips up a little bit. How about a little bit of a uh, Greek yogurt? That's like gonna the sound be, of that. This is gonna be the the creaminess of it. Okay. Go ahead. You Come add. Ahead. I'll stir. Okay. Yeah, it should be good there. And this all comes down to what you like. If you like a little more creamy um, or a little bit stiffer, there you go. And it was so I think this is something that everybody should like give a shot if, if it's a normally go straight for potatoes to give the parsnip a try, right? Give it a try. Um, and it's, it's something something different. Um, it will kind of wow your guests. Do you and think you, you think uh, if you serve this without people knowing, they wouldn't know that it's uh, not potato? Because I, I, they're automatically going to look yeah. at it and think it's potatoes, right? Yeah, once you grab a little fork and taste it and see if that tastes good for you. Okay. Okay. All right, so it's all mixed. And then that's all mixed, and that's pretty much it, you know? Give it a shot. If you want to add a little butter to it, you can, but we're trying to keep it kind of healthy today. Wow, that's delicious. Is it? Kind I like the pesto okay. taste, too. The pesto kind of cause it gives that little boost there. Very nice. You want to flip those steaks there? All right. There you go. Here, there you go, some tongs. And over here, I'm going to finish this off. The last thing that we're going to kind of do here, and we're going to bring it together, it's going to be some... Some greens. Uh, I got these these uh, mixed greens here. These baby greens that you can get in our produce department. It's a mixture of kale, spinach, uh, char, mm -hmm. and choy. Okay. And we're just going to take the greens here. We're going to actually add a little bit of country ham first for flavor. And bring that up. Pan was not quite as hot as I wanted it, but hey, that's all right. Okay. It's all coming together. So that's done. That's ready to go. I want to spoon a little bit into a bowl. All and right. we're going to, there you go. Bob's putting me to work. Hey, absolutely. How's that? That's good. One and more. One more for good luck. I got a little bit of a little pumpkin seed. A little pumpkin seed on here, a little roasted pumpkin seed, just for the season. Okay, okay so uh, listen, in the next segment, what are we going to do? We're going to bring this all together. We're going to make we're, we're gonna make the sauce, bring that all together, make it up. We're going to do the uh the uh, greens, we'll show that all together there. And we're going to talk and, desserts as well, And right? we'll talk desserts. He brought some great desserts, so stick around for that. Great job, Bob. Thank you. Great run. You're the one. Boom! All right, Chris, it's time to uh, check in with the buzz. Have you ever eaten snake? I have not. I well, have not eaten snake, nor have you know, snake eaten me. I, snake I bite, know. would that count as a snake eating you? Okay, a anyway. snake bite? I've been bit by a snake. All right, snake. so we're talking snakes me, because the Discovery Channel is going to air a video Nuts. on their show, Eaten Alive, Same. of a man being eaten alive by an anaconda out yes. in the jungle, Amazon or something, presumably. And, um, yeah, and he lived to tell about it, I guess. Yeah, I know. It's crazy stuff. Of course, we want to hear what Mike B has to say. We did, kind of did this for you, Mike, just because it's so outrageous. Mike says, just goes to show that they will put anything on TV. I'm guessing they killed the snake. No, they didn't. The snake lived, but I'm sure he had a big stomach ache. Uh, I have no love uh, loss for snakes, but animal cruelty for a TV program isn't cool. And a lot of people feel it's very cruel. It's animal cruelty at the highest uh, degree, and not just that, but they're asking Discovery Channel to pull 
Wow. The, yeah, that's kind of wild. Darlene says, no thanks. I'll be changing the channel. Louisa says, just why? Just why? That's a, that's a good question. Just why? Many people are sitting around and like, what are we going to do? How can we, how can we like wow people? What can we do to get people to watch? And well, then how about he made we feed this, a man this a suit that is to protect him from when he's eaten. I mean, I don't know why you really yeah. need that kind of suit unless you plan to be eaten pa often pa by snakes. Yeah, but. Paula Mead says, uh, what's the point? Uh, yeah. And Brian says, crazy, dumb. Kevin here is making a joke. He says, does he have buns? As I understand it, anacondas don't want none unless you got buns. What, He's taking that from a song. He's yeah. being funny. It's not funny. I mean, it's kind of crazy. Is it animal cruelty? Absolutely. I mean, I guess typically you're going to think more of, you know, our household pets versus an anaconda. But well, I guess it's, it's it, not it, really being it nice is to the snake. cruel and unusual punishment. Leave the snake alone. Is there alone. some kind of scientific element to this no. research? It's just insane. Just insane. All right. Still to come in Ian Hampton Roads, we'll introduce you to a 13-year-old that plans to race her way into NASCAR record books. Macy Causey is a young lady who's not afraid to ride in the fast lane with the big boys. And don't forget our pop quiz. Today's winner will receive a four-pack of tickets for Gala of the Royal Horses. Coming this Sunday to the Ted Constance Center, it's a $360 value. Log on to the HamptonRoadShow.com and click on the pop quiz button on the top right-hand corner of your screen to enter. Good luck, everybody, Friday Eve. Great. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I have not. I know. We need to get you out there. Yeah, I know. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. However, every time I go to OBX, I'm like. Welcome back to the Hampton Road Show, everybody. Fall is a great time to visit the Outer Banks and maybe even hit the links while you're at it. Kilmarlock Golf Club is one of the best courses on the East Coast, and they offer great amenities that go beyond the green. Here to tell us more is Kilmarlock Golf Club Director of Golf, Brian Sullivan. Brian, welcome to the Hampton Road Show. Every time I go to the Outer Banks, I see it right there on the right side of 58, heading down right before I cross the bridge. I, I just want to stop and play. It, it's a beautiful golf course. Yeah. Uh, we're, I feel so fortunate to be able to be on the Outer Banks and just a, a wonderful setting and uh, we're just, it's a great place to be. It's uh, located there with uh, all the beautiful surroundings of nature there with uh, the wetlands and the sound and all. Talk about the course itself and, and for all the golfers out there who want to know about it. Yeah, uh, it, it's a beautiful piece of property. It was uh, 600 acres and over 300 of it is a uh, Ducks Unlimited um, nature conservation. Uh, so it's that it surrounds the whole golf course. So it's peaceful and quiet when you're out playing. It meanders through just a beautiful setting of the Outer Banks, you know, wetlands, um, and 
you just you just feel like you're out there by yourself when it, you're playing. It's a good challenge for uh, golfers at every level as well. It is. It's a great challenge for every for for every player. We have five sets of tees, mm -hmm. so uh, you know you can kind of pick the poison that you want to want to have. Right. And uh, we've hosted two North Carolina Opens, so if you want to play the back tees and kind of get the flavor of the course that way, uh, you can just step back and. Have at it. And Brian, this is a great time of year for golf, especially down there at Kilmarlick because you have great rates. We have great rates in the fall, mm -hmm. um, and the weather on the Outer Banks in the fall is you can't beat it. It's it's why I chose to live there. It's, mm -hmm. it's a great spot, and uh, the, the course is in wonderful shape in the fall, and we'd love to have people come out. And the rates, like you said, I mean, we have off-season rates, and it's a time from, you know, it's an easy drive from Hampton Roads to get yeah. down and play. And especially after 1 o'clock, the twilight uh, as well. Just that, but tell me about the K-Club amenities because that's really a nice feature as well. It is a great feature. We started it about four years ago. Uh, it's, it's for homeowners that, that own homes on the Outer Banks. They can join what's called the K-Club. It gives them and their guests uh, special rates to Kilmarlet Golf Club. Uh, also, um, with Kitty Hall Kites, uh, they have activities. If you're a K Club member, you get special rates there. And you know we're we're lucky to have Stan White as uh, one of our uh, rental partners mm -hmm. in the K Club. And uh, so all of their guests receive special rates at the golf course. So it's it's been a great amenity and a great program if for you, us. If you like golf and you like the Outer Banks, you definitely want to check out Kill Marlett Golf Club and tell them you saw them here on the Hampton Road Show. Something tells me Brian will will take care of you. The K Club amenity program is located at Kill Marlett Golf Club. You can find out more at 855-355-2582, or you can find Kim Marlett Golf Club online at kclubobx.com. Uh, Brian Sullivan, thank you so much for making the drive today. Thank you, Chris. Our live audience today is from McDonald's of Hampton Roads, and they've joined forces with Operation Homefront for a holiday toy drive. And I've got Nicole Nickel from Operation Homefront to tell us all about it. Nicole, correct? Yes. All right, so Nicole, Operation Homefront, it's the holidays already, and we're talking the annual toy drive. Yes, um, we are gearing up um, for our Operation Homefront holiday toy drive, where we'll be providing 3,000 toys to local military families, and we're teaming up with McDonald's for our toy drive. And um, you can actually drop off um, toys such as trucks or baby dolls or games or anything to that nature off at any of your local McDonald's within Hampton Roads mm -hmm. and you'll receive a free McCafe beverage. Wow, so when we're talking about the toy drive, can you give us any ideas of what types of things you'll accept and what kind of things maybe that you're in need of? Yes, we are um, accepting new and unopened toys for children of ages 0 to 16. Um, it can be as I mentioned, a baby doll or a truck or a game, um, typically a 15 to $25 value. And um, the toys that we're most in need of are those for age groups zero to two and then 12 and up. 12 and up is always um, a big pull that we're trying to try to get more toys for. Right, and with Operation Homefront, this toy drive is a national effort, but locally you have this partnership with McDonald's. So how did you guys join forces? Um, well, we um, actually met at an event, and um, McDonald's is looking to be more active within the military community. So we're really excited about partnering with them and um, starting our efforts with this toy drive. Do you think that this is going to help boost the, the toy drive effort? Absolutely. There's 97 um, McDonald's, so it's very easy to just be able to go through and drop off a toy at um, whatever location is closest to you. All right. So if you want to drop off a toy, get involved. The holiday toy drive, McDonald's and Operation Homefront begins now through November 23rd. It's at all Hampton Roads McDonald's restaurants where you can drop off your toys. And for more information, you want to visit operationhomefront.net. Thanks for being here today. Thank you so much for having us. We all know that exercise is good for the body, but it's also good for the brain. Coming up, we'll talk with Alex Roadtruck, the PE teacher at Chesapeake Bay Academy about how they make exercise and physical education an important part of the curriculum. And here's another look at Sammy and Max, our Hampton Road Show Pet Pals of the Week from Norfolk Animal Care Center. They're both about 10 years old and they are part of the Golden Paw Senior Adoption Program. They've been together their whole lives and make a great pair. If you'd like to make Sammy and Max a part of your family, get in touch with the good folks at Norfolk Animal Care Center at 441-5505 or visit norfolk.gov slash NACC.
<laughs> yep. Some of the kids do too. <laughs> do they? Yeah. It is, yeah, absolutely. What are you What are you talking about? Well, it's just when the brain is moving, when your body's moving, the brain's. Welcome back to the Hampton Road Show. According to a University of Pittsburgh study, exercise can improve learning and brain function. And that's just one of the reasons why Chesapeake Bay Academy makes physical education a big part of their curriculum for all students. Here now to tell us more is Alex Roadtruck, PE teacher at Chesapeake Bay Academy. Alex, welcome to Hampton Road Show. Let's take this show on the road. Let's get us outside. Let's get us moving, get that blood flowing. Is that the whole reason why you... Uh, take care of the kids over there at Chesapeake Bay Academy? Absolutely. Physical education is a game changer. Um, not only does being physically active help you stay fit, but it actually does a lot more. Um, human, basic human physiology, nutrition, stress management, peer relationship management, and a host of other things um, are all related to PE. But one of the more important things is how it improves your overall brain function, which is often overlooked. Okay, so a lot of times kids are sitting in class, they're sitting in English, they're sitting uh -huh. in math or whatnot their bodies kind of slow down a little bit. That's where PE comes in. It's so important. Exactly. When the body's moving, um, blood gets flowing. So the brain is naturally functioning at a higher level. Um, so neuron connections are also getting stronger. So the brain is just more active and ready to learn and ready to retain information. Um, studies that have researched the relationship between physical activity and the effects of academic performance say that if you're more active, you're more likely to receive an A in math or English than your less active peers. How do you guys incorporate uh, physical education there at Chesapeake Bay Academy? Well, physical education and incorporating classes is actually pretty easy. Mm -hmm. um, PE is an easy sell. Right. Like, it's easy to entice a student to play a game that might involve counting than to play or say, hey, welcome to math, let's do some math today. And how do you uh, apply core subjects to PE? How, does they, how do they move back and forth? Well, uh, for a lower school, for an example, our lower school curriculum at CBA, we have did a game called Make It Rain. And each, mm -hmm. student each student gets a hula hoop, which represents a cloud. And the students represent a sun, and there are different objects scattered throughout the gym. Um, so they will go and collect these objects, bring them back to their cloud, and that represents evaporation. Um, then a parachute will bring out, and we will the students get to throw all of their evaporated objects into one big cloud, which nice. represents the smaller clouds getting bigger clouds, and that's condensation. Then they shake the cloud, objects go everywhere, they get to have fun, and it represents precipitation. So that's just one thing, just by using water cycle terminology, incorporating science that in PE class have really worked on running, gathering, spatial and body awareness. You've got tremendous facilities there at Chesapeake mm -hmm. Bay Academy. The yeah. gym is beautiful, spacious, awesome. not just that, but outside. Yeah. Um, you, I know you guys take advantage of that. Absolutely. Um, we have done, we do yoga. Mm -hmm. People come in and do yoga. We have a space for that. We are 
right next to Virginia Wesleyan, and they have been great um, as far as utilizing their facilities. We've gone and swam over the pools or um, used their track or baseball or softball fields, which is awesome. And you're not just teaching them uh, to be better students in the classroom through PE. You're also teaching them a valuable life lesson as well. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, there's different things, I guess. PE in general is you know, what we try to do is get lifetime fitness, and um, that's our main goal as educators. Um, so if we can add these new, add these new activities that incorporate math, science, and social studies, we can ultimately make them get them moving and thinking, which will improve academic performance as well as. Um, getting them lifetime fit. It was always one of my favorite courses in school. Yeah. You can learn more about what makes Chesapeake Bay Academy different. You can go to their open house on Wednesday, November 12th from 9 to 10.30 a.m. RSVP by calling Dana Callow at 497-6200 or email dcallow at cba-va.org or you can also RSVP online at cba-va.org. Alex Roadtruck, thanks so much for the advice. Thank you. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Still ahead on the Hampton Roads Show, we'll get the scoop on the Bodacious Bazaar coming to the Hampton Roads Convention Center next weekend. And then we're heading back to the kitchen with Chef Bob Hirasawa from Farm Fresh to see how he's doing on those ribeye steaks and check out what's for dessert. Nice to meet you. Gardner well, Weinberg. You can say why. Well, I guess you can say. You can say Gardner Weinberg. My, my parents own the Bodacious Bazaar right. and they're Gardner. So that's okay. probably why she sent. But that's your name. Do you want Weinberg, Weinberg or we can change it? Well, it seems like a mouthful to say Bridget Gardner Weinberg, doesn't it? Bridget Weinberg. Bridget Weinberg. Get, get the Gardner's out. <laughs> that flows. Okay. Yes. Whether you're ready or not, the holiday shopping season is here. And how would you like to get all of your shopping done in one weekend in one place? You know, you can do just that at the Bodacious Bazaar. And here now to tell us more is Bridget Weinberg. She's the director of entertainment. Tell us how it all is going to work and come together next weekend, right? Yes, it's going to be a wonderful weekend um, with amazing shopping, over 300 vendors. I think we have 312 vendors wow. at this point, mm -hmm. maybe more by then. And um, we'll have entertainment. Um, we'll, we'll have uh, Heritage High School will be there with their jazz choir. Um, seven charities will benefit from it. Red wow. Cross will be there. If you donate blood, you get a three-day pass. Nice. So it's going to be a wonderful. So weekend. it's not just shopping. There's entertainment and other things as well. Yes. What makes Bodacious Bazaar different from other bazaars and shopping events? 
We are a family-owned business, mm -hmm. and we um, like to give back to the community, so that's very important to us. We have a charity in our family, the Kelly Weinberg Foundation, and so that's what prompted my parents to find an event that would be successful mm -hmm. in the community and um, give back to the local charities. And so we have seven charities that will benefit this year. Nice. And um, so we have food bank, so you want to make sure to bring canned food. Mm -hmm. And um, we'll have the Red Cross, of course. That's and great. So you have that charity component yes. now. You said, we're well, going back to the shopping, you said 312 or so vendors. Yes. What types of stuff are they selling? What type of things can you find? Everything. So anywhere from fudge to diamonds to art. Not bad. So <laughs> all kinds of things. So maybe you could pretty much cross off everyone on your holiday shopping list. Yes, absolutely. And I guess all price points from... All price points, yes. Yes. Any any so, favorites that are coming back or that you always look forward to? I really love um, Brom Bars. They have all of the good baked, yummy goodies. So, <laughs> yes, there's a bunch of favorites. Too many to, to name. So we have some wonderful vendors. Okay, great. Yeah. And you also said that Santa and Mrs. Claus will be on site. Yes, they will. They'll be there the whole weekend. So bring the kids and babies and um, you just bring your own camera or phone, so there won't be a photographer <laughs> to take the photos. there. Yes, and so. they'll be doing some story time with the kids, reading yes. some, I guess, holiday themed yes. stories, probably. Um, so that's a nice little component. And you said there's a lot of charities and nonprofits that are going to benefit. How do you yes. get tickets? You can go to the website to find the different locations. You can buy tickets there, but on the website, there'll be the different sites where you can buy tickets. Mm -hmm. If you donate blood, you get a three-day pass, mm -hmm. so the blood mobile will be there. They'll also be doing a five-day drive leading up to it. Okay. So they'll get, you can go. And then and the tickets, um, do you need one for every day if you want to go every day? Or, or? You can get a two-day pass for $10 or a one-day pass for $7. Mm -hmm. And so you have options. Yes, that's lots great. of options. All right, the Bodacious Bazaar, November 14th through the 16th. That's happening at the Hampton Roads Convention Center. And their website is bodaciousbazaar.com for all the info and details. Thanks for coming in today. Thank you. We're back now in the kitchen with Chef Bob here at Sour from Farm Fresh. He's uh, wrapping up his ribeye steaks. Now it's time for the cream mushroom balsamic reduction. Uh, the steak looks great. The parsnips looks awesome. And now it's just time to top it off, right? Did a great job on the steaks. Yep. And I'm, you're going to have to slice it up. And, you know, Are you putting me back to work? I'm going to put you back to oh, work. Right. What's the way uh, you it, Bob? Once you slice that steak up, you can okay. either slap it on your plate or you can slice it up like this. Well, and I think it always looks a little looks, better looks when, a it's, bit, when it's yeah. cut. So and then I'm going to put together the sauce. Look in the pan here. You see it's all the nice little particulates that are still left in the pan after you fry and we're going to make that to work for us. Okay. I'm adding a little shallots here, a little gar chopped garlic, giving that puppy a stir, and doing that steak over there. The steak is cooked per perfectly there for you. But it looks good. good. Medium rare. I'm ready to jump in. Yeah. I do want to give a shout out to a couple people in our meat department at our, our Ghent store. That's where we get these steaks from. Okay. And that's Carl and Anita. So hey, good job. Carl and Anita, how you doing today over there again? I go there all the time, as you know. I ran into you a couple of times there. Yeah. And that's that's a good thing. Thank you very much for supporting us. My pleasure. We have a little bit of brown sugar going in here mm -hmm. just to kind of sweeten this up because we're going to also add some mushrooms. And then we're going to deglaze it with a little balsamic vinegar. Very nice. Okay. So this is kind of cooking up. And you, you trying that steak, you're supposed to let me know how, how it is. Is, uh, that, it's, uh, is yeah. that good? Okay. That's pretty good. Medium and rare. Medium rare. It's Wild good harvest. Good stuff, man. It, it is. It has good a little stuff. special taste to it, too. I like Does the seasoning. It? And then we're going to add, yeah, that's, that's, mm -hmm. that uh, grill seasoning. Want to hit that? You know, a little balsamic. Go around a couple times on the pan. There you go. See, that's going to that's gonna help lift those flavors up and form the sauce here. There, there you go. go. How about Get that? And then, yeah, that kind of comes up. Ooh, we're going to add a little bit of that Greek yogurt to cream it out. Okay. We're, not gonna use, we're trying to stay a little bit healthier today. There you go. How's that? And that's good. That's okay. going to just form a little bit of creaminess on here. I see some yeah. butter over here. We like add, add a little butter to it. Add a little butter just to finish it off the flavor. Yeah, just a little bit of butter. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm sure Carl and Anita will like that. You know, to be honest. Yes, <laughs> Carl and Anita over there at the Ghent store. Sure. And Mike. And their boss. Mike. And, and all come on, people. everybody else. And Rob. And, uh, and what, what about the other stores, man? The other stores aren't going to be happy. You're not giving well, them any love. Well, next week, you actually, we're going to have a, another guest chef coming from our uh, great next store, Tony. Tony's Tony coming in. He'll be Sweet. here next week, so. No Chef Bob next week? No, no Chef, Chef Tony. Bob. Actually, yeah. I'm going to be hopefully lounging on the beach somewhere. So. There you go. Hey, but this, this sauce has all come together now. Nice. Just spoon a little bit over the top of there. We got that ready to go. And you, there you go. Well, you go ahead and spoon that. Okay. And then uh, uh, how much time do we got back there? I think just a little bit left. 
Got about talking. a minute and a half. Now go ahead and spoon okay. that and let's see how it looks, uh, the finished okay. product, because uh, this is what it's all about, man. That's what I was going to look. The finished look. Whenever Bob comes in, it's not done till it's done. Set the money shot. Ain't over till it's over. <laughs> but uh, that looks amazing. There we go. So with the parsnips and the greens. Yep. And then yummy, you got that. Yummy. Bring it all together. Then we can finish it off with some desserts that we have on sale this week. We got pudding so, cakes. Yeah, I mean pudding cakes. Pudding Come cakes. on, man! Did you, hey. you're, you're coming. You're bringing them with donuts and cookies and, and pudding cakes. And now you're cupcakes. trying to you're trying to be on a diet and you won't eat them. But I'm gonna, you're gonna I'm have trying some. it okay. today for sure. And we have the cookies on sale this week. Also, we still do have our uh, Wags of Love um, food drive. That's right, helping the, the local shelters shelf. out there. And then we also have one for the local food bank too. Not just mm -hmm. that. When you come in, don't forget to pick up the brand new edition of Fresh Ideas. It's free. It just came out. It has a lot of great ideas. Uh, for the month of November, you can uh, find out how to, to uh, cook the perfect turkey from Chef Bob. Not just that, but there's all kinds of cool recipes, Florentine stuff, mushrooms, mm -hmm. olive bread, banana bread, uh, you name it. And rem remember, it comes out every, fresh one comes out every week, every month. I'm and sorry. it's got a lot of great coupons. You can save right. a lot of money. Talk all about, about the wild harvest meats that are often there at Farm Fresh, fresh locations. Okay, so what was the inspiration behind this meal? Well, just wanted to do something a little different than what we have done in the mm -hmm. past. And, you know, hey. Step it up a little bit healthier. There's a parsnips, there's a Greek yogurt. You know, I'm trying to tie it in a little bit. The greens, these greens, by the way, are, are great. They're, you can buy them in a bag. Uh, they're already kind of, they're all baby greens. Nice. The, the adult one, mature ones, you kind of have to do a double boil. Okay. But these, you just go straight in the pan. There you go. You definitely want to try the parsnips. Don't mm -hmm. forget your Farm Fresh locations. They're located across Hampton Roads. Find the one closest to you at farmfreshsupermarkets.com. The one and only Bob here at Sally, everybody. Great job, as oh, always. You, you did the job. You did the work, man.